So the third of the Monash trifecta is Professor Fazid Vahid, who is Professor and Head of the Department of Economics and Business Statistics at Monash. Thank you very much. Uh, it's a great honour for me to be elected Fellow of the uh, Academy of Social Science of Australia. Um, being an immigrant uh, it means uh, a bit more to me than just academic recognition. Um, here to talk about my research, my research interest is in the study of uh, trends and cycles in macroeconomic variables. I know it's, it's hard to make that interesting after listening to two st uh, historians, but, um, but uh, to study business cycles, we have to understand trends uh, because business cycles are just cyclical fluctuations around the trend. And uh, um, as you can imagine, um, finding or understanding trends using a time series data that only goes back uh, 40 years uh, is, uh, is a very difficult case. You all know about uh, uh, probably global temperatures. That the scientists have, have debates about uh, what the trends in global temperatures are. Uh, Trevor Broch and I did uh, some work for uh, the Garneau report and uh, studying the, the global uh, temperature trends. But uh, climate systems is something that scientists know a lot about. Um, and, um, and only recently is that we think that human behavior is interfering with this system. Um, Whereas the economic system is just a uh, sort of uh, um, a, uh, uh, all based on human behavior and every uh, major incident like or shock or like uh, the decision of oil producing com uh, countries to limit supply or a uh, meltdown of banks or something like that was, has uh, uh, enormous effects of the evolution of the economic system. For, so from this data, and add, add to that the, uh, the nuisance of uh, seasonality, which uh, recently caused a big uh, problem with the data, the ABS and the, the, the employment data. We have to peel all of that out to get a good uh, um, estimate of the trend and then uh, study the cyclical fluctuations around the trend. Now. Um, my research interest is uh, um, uh, that, that I use is, is to use the idea that while uh, understanding complex trend in one time series can be uh, really difficult, but uh, there's uh, compelling reason to believe that trends in many economic variables uh, are the same, uh, like, uh, you know, uh, uh, non-durable consumption expenditure and, and uh, incomes. Uh, you, you can, there's compelling even econo uh, theoretical reason to believe that they have the same trend. So if you put all of these variables that are supposed to have similar trends together, we might be able to get a better uh, estimate of the trend in each of them. Of course, that wasn't my idea. That was the idea of my super PhD supervisors for which they got uh, the Nobel Prize in 2003. Uh, but uh, my idea was to then extend that and say that uh, uh, for, the, uh, the, for the business cycle, also cyclical fluctuations of se several uh, different variables can be similar. And we know that over the business cycle, for example, retail sales and, un uh, and employment, for example, uh, move together. And we can put those together, and by modeling them together, we can actually get a better estimate of business cycle. So that's uh, basically uh, uh, what, what I've been working on for a long time. And these days, I'm now trying to see how much I can stretch that in this uh, sort of data-rich world, when we have data on many, many, many variables and putting them all together and seeing if I can use the idea of similarity to get better estimate of the trends and cycles. Thank you very much.